One of the hardest compound interest questions you'll ever be asked in your GCSEs. Let's take a look, Mike. Some Gen Alpha you invest £2,000 into a savings account for three years. The account pays compound interest at 2.5% in year one, X% percent in year two, X% percent in year three. There is £2,124.46 at the end of year three. Find the value of X. Okay, compound interest. Yeah, it's going up by 2.5% in year one. And then wherever that new value is, we're going to increase it by X percent, increase it by X percent as well. Uh, again, so we need to think at the end of year one, what would be the value of our money? Okay, now if we're going to increase by 2.5%, what does that mean? You are increasing the original value by 2.5%. Okay, the OG value is 100%, okay? So we're increasing 100% by 2.5%. Okay, we're adding it, that's 102.5. Now we have to find the multiplier. So we're not gonna use the percent, we're gonna find the multiplier which we divide by 100 is 1.025. So at the end of year one, we are doing 2,000 pounds times this as a multiplier, 1.025, which with my calculator, which I carry around with me everywhere, 2,000 times 1.025 is 2,050 pounds, okay? Now the question is, what happens when we increase by X percent? All right, it's a little bit different. So, this is the first part. Now let's look at the second part. We want to increase this value now, which is the new OG. We're going to increase our OG value by X percent this time. Okay? Well, if our OG value is 100% and we are increasing it by X percent, the problem with this is we can't simplify that, right? Because we don't know what X is. But regardless, we are here we need to write the multiplier by dividing our percent by 100, okay? So we can convert this percentage into a multiplier by dividing by 100. Now you can write the whole thing over 100 or you're just dividing both of these terms by 100. So when you have an unknown percentage, the multiplier, you guys can just kind of intuitively write this down. I'm showing you guys the working out. 100 divided by 100 is one plus x over 100, okay? So, at the end of year two, what you're doing, so at the end of year two, what you're doing is you're taking this value and you're multiplying it by this, wherever that is. Well, at the end of year three, you're then taking this value and you're increasing it by x percent again. So you're just taking this and multiplying it by this again, okay? which means it just becomes Q, uh, squared. You have 2050 times by this, times by itself, it is gonna be squared, okay? And it's this value which equals 2124.46. 2124.46, okay? And now we just need to rearrange, okay? How do we rearrange this? Rearranging for x, we're gonna get rid of this coefficient of 2050, okay? I'm going to be a bit lazy with this. I'm not going to write that in the calculator. Yeah, not just yet. So I have 1 plus x over 100 squared is this. What is the opposite of squaring? We're going to root it. So you get 1 plus x over 100 is the root of this horrible number. 2124.46 over 2050. Yeah, do all this stuff later. Then you're going to type this in. Then we get a minus one from both sides. And then wherever this is, I mean, you guys could be following along with your calculator. You're just gonna times that by 100. So if I write that here, x is all of this business, 2124.46 over 2050. So it all needs to be under the same root. Minus one, all of that times by 100. Now I didn't say 
Let's just do it to like 2dp or something. X is approximately, so I'm doing bracket 2124.46 over 2050 minus 1, close the bracket times by 100. Oh, 1.8, because I get 1.799899, etc. I'm going to say 1.8 per cent. And this could be a five mark question in your GCSE exam. So guys, if you learned something new or you become more aware of the hardest type of questions that they can ask for compound interest, hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it. And subscribe for more content like this. We're obviously trying to reach the top with our exams. And if you want to submit questions and discuss questions with your fellow peers, head to my Reddit, Lung Gang, and you can submit questions over there. So I'll see you guys over on the Reddit and in my next video. Nice.